So Chris, what are some types of triggers? Well, we use the acronym BULLY and came up with this with Dr. Mark Golston. So BULLY stands for the five types of triggers that we see commonly. And there may be others, you may experience others, but these five are pretty common. So the B stands for bad behavior. So somebody acts badly, somebody acts like a jerk, they cut you off in traffic, they get in your face or whatever, and you feel the desire to lash out. U stands for unexpected sounds or actions. The first L stands for like loss of control. You feel like you just can't control anything, like everything just starts to snowball and go wrong. And so you just feel like you can't control important aspects of your life. The second L stands for let down. So this feeling that you've been let down by somebody. So maybe it's a coworker and you get upset and you lash out, or you feel like you let yourself down. And then the Y stands for you're always screwing up. Like this feeling that you're always messing up, like everything you touch is like the reverse Midas touch. And so you can start to withdraw or start feeling sorry for yourself, self-medicating and things like that. So bully, those are five very common triggers. Where can I get these wristbands? The best way to do that is go to saber6foundation.com and you'll see the link on our website where you can enroll in the 22-day Trigger Mastery Challenge. What are the ages of people that are finding this useful? People at any age, really because we all have our different triggers. It doesn't matter if you're a veteran. It doesn't matter if you're a parent or a teenager or whatever. We all have our different triggers and we've all experienced reacting to those triggers in ways that are just damaging. It doesn't matter who you are, just having a process and being intentional about it. I mean, as I've started doing this myself, I think through this process, it helps me not to lash out or react in, in some ways that's damaging. I'm hearing the same thing from other people that are doing the challenge at the same time. So this intentional thinking and not acting. So um, it seems to be a great program. Well, we're very excited about it. And just go to our website, saber6foundation.com. You'll see the you'll see the 22 day trigger mastery challenge. We all face different challenges of different intensities. And if you're going through the challenge and you just find after time and time and time again, that you just can't get past your first three or four or five days or whatever, then it, that may be an indication that, you know, self-treatment is, is just not working for you. And it's time to get some support. So go to our website, saber6foundation.com. And you'll be able to enroll in the 22-day Trigger Mastery Challenge. And when you control your triggers, you control your life.